I will say this. In the process of me being at DD-172, I did have a relationship with Ski Beats. I did have a relationship with Cootie and Chike of Creative Control and um, other, you know, individuals who were also up under that umbrella of Creative Control. So um, I guess that's what he's referring to. I mean, I was only involved, I believe, in two songs on there. I was on Address. I, I believe he put 24 on 24 Hour Karate School. And then he had, we had that. <laughs> this is what's funny, right? <laughs> we had the, the song Stally, right? On that project, Stally. <laughs> so <laughs> we had that song on that project. And it's confusing that he still got my name wrong when because <laughs> we had Stally, that was the song on that album. <laughs> there was a lot of confusion there for me when it when he was speaking on my name and um, bringing me up, saying that I had disappointed him because I've never, I, I don't recall having these conversations with him of, um, and, and we've never did business. Let's get that straight right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's never been any business done. There was so, never even a presentation of paperwork. But I do remember us bumping into each other. And I do remember him saying something to the point where, like, just asking me how I've been and um, how's everything been going and uh, how it was being with MMG or Atlantic at the time. Because Atlantic was, you know, who I was signed to. That was the major label, I guess, that he's referring to. And I was like, you know, it, it's cool. You know, I mean, I can't, again, I don't remember exactly what was said, but I do remember something like, it's cool. It's definitely different. Me being an independent artist, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of um, red tape or, you know, things that you got to go through when you're dealing with a major label. It's a business, so I understand, and I was expressing that to him. Um, and with that, I feel like with anybody, it could be frustrations, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I don't exactly, I don't recall exactly what was said. There's no regrets. It's just, it's a different format. It's a different way of you know, living. And obviously I'm a new, I'm new to this. I was new to that, you know, at the time. So again, it's never no regrets. It was, it, you know, again, it might've been some frustrations, but it was never any regrets. And I still don't regret it to this day. Maybe there's entitlement there. Maybe there's some type of um, frustrations, you know, with on the way he he's handled business or how, how business has worked for him in the past. Um, but I, I can't speak for him. I just wanted to speak on him speaking on my name. You know what I'm saying? Because again, I I was the least, I was the most independent over there. Still am, you know, to this day. Like even the, you know, one thing I will point out and I want to point out to you um, personally or just to everybody who's viewing and listening to this is that one thing I will say is that when I was there, I still carried myself very independent even in situations that were i was included in it was because i independently included myself so even us having the address song with me and currency and we shot that video in jamaica i paid my own way to get to jamaica i footed the bill i made sure that i was there it was the extension of me going was the extension like yeah pull up but it was on my own dime this is somebody who's totally independent who's getting it out the mud, who's grinding on and off stages everywhere. So uh, yeah, I, I'm fully independent and fully have the independent spirit. And I know he said that I was, you know, um, probably the most independent and he said I was grumpy or something like that too. <laughs> but, but I mean, it's no grumpiness. It, it was just me kind of tunnel vision and focus. So I, I mean, some people can maybe they can look at it different ways. They can say, oh, you, you're focused and you're hyper-focused, or they can say you're you're grumpy, or they can say you're somebody who don't take no bullshit, whatever it is, you know what I mean? They can apply it whatever way they do, but independent, yes, I am now, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I was then.